Okay, I promised you all that I would review the literature looking at the COVID vaccine and neurological complications related to it, as well as the COVID virus and neurological complications related to it. This is the first set of review articles I've been through. Uh, this is an ongoing process. There are papers coming out uh, every day regarding this, but these are three quality papers that I came upon. Uh, one of which, which talks about, again, this is the virus uh, infecting the nervous system and its different effects on the nervous system. And we know that uh, the virus can cause seizures, it can cause Guillain-Barre syndrome, viral encephalitis, meningoencephalitis. These are all infections of the central nervous system, as well as stroke or cerebrovascular disease, and has some effect in the clotting cascade, and therefore it can cause clogging of blood vessels, and therefore strokes, in the brain and also on a cellular level. Uh, remember the nerves are fed by little tiny vessels called the vasa nervorum, and those little tiny vessels also can get clogged, irritated, somehow damaged by the virus, which can cause strokes within nerves themselves. So we are seeing reports of all of these complications from the virus infection. Um, I do uh, see a study here out of Spain that reports an, uh, an event of new onset trigeminal neuralgia after the virus, and another one that talks about um, the infection uh, of the nervous system through the transmission through the olfactory epithelium. So the olfactory nerve, the sense of smell nerve, is how this virus infects us and how it gets into our nervous system. So there are a number of neurological manifestations related to the COVID virus. Very, very important for you to get your vaccine. It will minimize this. It will decrease the neurological complications and decrease your chances of being hospitalized or having any type of respiratory or neurological injury. Uh, so that's my summary on the COVID virus and its relationship to the nervous system. Next up will be the COVID vaccine and its relationship to the nervous system.